Hey beauties, it's Ribbon here at Go with another video. How are y'all doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So if you can tell by the caption, what we are doing today is something you've probably seen pretty often. We are doing a split face. One half is going to be how I did my makeup in 2018, and the other half is how I do my makeup current day, which is 2021. So a lot of YouTubers were doing their makeup a lot longer than I was. I just started dabbling in makeup around 2018, so this is going to be how I started out doing makeup. <laughs> like started out like the products I started with you know my my experiments that didn't go so well this is going to be this side of the face and then this side of the face is going to be what your girl learned over time how well I now do my makeup and we're going to see how drastic the difference is I think it's going to be pretty drastic so I'm excited to find out okay so this side will do 2018 this side will do 2021 this is my favorite side of my face I'm just playing. All right, so first thing I want to point out is back in 2018, I wasn't using a primer. Primer didn't exist for me. Thought it was just a wasted step, kind of like extra money being spent for no reason. As time went on, I have realized how important primer actually is, and it's very, very much a necessity in my makeup process. In anyone's makeup process, it should be a necessity. I'm just going to throw that out there. We're going to be going in with my favorite primer. This is the Milk Hydro Primer. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I've been using this stuff for a couple of years. And mm, it is still the best primer I've ever used. Oh, so we're going to go in with this. It feels so good, y'all. <laughs> I like this primer because it gets tacky. So it makes me feel like my makeup is going to stay all day, right? So that's step one. This side, nothing. Barefaced. Hopefully, I used to moisturize back then. I did moisturize now, so I'm hoping that was a thing. Um, moisturized skin is also very important. Look at that. Can you... Didn't do much to my brows back in 2018. I used to just go in with some brow gel and kind of just brush them into a place that I wanted. So that's what we're going to do now. I mean, given I have very full brows, kind of didn't really need to do much. And then I would kind of just... <laughs> just to give it some shape, I guess. Make it look like I did something to it. All right, so let me show you how I do my brows nowadays. So first I'm going in with my Milani brow pencil. I'm just going to take that spindle, kind of brush my eyebrows up. Okay, then I'm going to take the pencil and bring my eyebrow out a little bit more. So this is just a really dark brown pencil. And I'm going to give myself some hairs. I'm sorry, I had to go fix my lighting. I hope it looks better. But yeah, we were just going in with my Milani pencil. I'm giving myself some hairs in the front. The front of my brow is a little too thin. So I like to just add some brow, basically. So I'm just adding little strokes to make it look like hair. Filling it in, making it a little bit thicker. Making it look as realistic as possible, right? I love the shade of this. Um, what shade is it? It's Espresso, 150 Espresso, and it's the Milani has the spindle and a very thin little tip here. I'm actually running out. That's all I got left. Meh. All right, after I fill my brow in, I go in with my e.l.f. brow gel, same brow gel I'm using, and I just kind of set that in place. Right? like so. Now I'm going to go in with some concealer just to clean up that brow. I am using my e.l.f. concealer. This is in the shade Tan Walnut. It's a bit light, but I kind of like it. So dab it in. I'm just going to clean up my brow bottom.
There we go. Now I'm just going to take the excess and clean up the top of my brow. Don't need to add any more product. Just one clean sweep to kind of sharpen up that brow. And that is my 2020 brow. Difference, right? Like, <laughs> difference. All right, so now it is time for the face portion. I would normally do my eyes right after my brows, but since I know that is going to be the most drastic difference, I'm going to save it for last. So we're gonna hop into the face. So obviously I've done the primer, well, for one half, I've done the primer. So for this side, I was only doing drugstore foundations at the time, and let me tell you how hard it was to find my shade back in 2018. Like, well, clearly it was impossible because I don't have my shade. Um, I used to use Mary Kay, um, but I don't have that, so. What I did once I ran out of my Mary Kay was started blending stuff. So these were my most used two. I should definitely throw these away after this video. Probably way over expired. Probably shouldn't even put them on my face, but we're gonna do it anyhow. All right, so these were the two that I used to mix the most because um, they had the prettiest finish, okay? So this is my Maybelline 24 Hour, and this is my L'Oreal Il Fallible 24 Hour. So, so these are two extremely good foundations. I probably just didn't pick my correct foundation, and I was too cheap to go and try again. All right, so this is what I used to do with these, all right? So I would do a couple dabs of the so this is like just really light and super golden right but it gave me the golden that i needed and then this i would do a, the same like amount basically unless i was darker i could do more of this and less of that like it was a thing y'all it was a thing and i also did not use beauty blenders then i was still on brushes so i literally just you see how it eventually starts to match <laughs> oh it was bad all right so notice how it did a really good job of covering what i wanted it to cover the foundation matches it probably matches my shade back then <laughs> obviously your shade changes over time but i feel like it's pretty good it still gives me that shine it looks good mind you my brow has been ruined so I just kind of take the brush and brush it back up ah! I remember doing that y'all I literally remember doing that so now I'm going to do my concealer and the concealer I used back then was Tarte Shape Tape in shades way too light but I thought I was doing something, y'all. Like, I thought I was doing something with this. Like, literally, I had finally ordered something offline. I was feeling it like, oh, yeah, this is what everybody using. This is in the shade 50H Deep, okay? And then, of course, was doing the whole triangle back then. It doesn't look that bad, but it's too light, y'all. Like, it's it's too light. We're going to do the bridge of my nose. And I used to just kind of do, like, one little thing, like, right here. I didn't do my thing. And I took that same brush, and I would kind of tap it out. I do love tarp shape tape, but um, this shade was just a little too light. I would go in with, oh my God, <laughs> my Sacha powder, y'all. 
<laughs> this was the buttercup sacha powder that i thought i was really doing something with okay I used to powder stuff on and bake. And so that's what we're going to do. Like looking at the color it is at the moment, like it matches my sweater and that's just not right. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's not exactly how that should go, you know? So we're tacky. And the foundation I'm using for today is my Il Maquillage. I either use this or my Nordshire Glow, but this right here is my Holy Grail. This is in the shade 235, woke up like these. Mm -hmm. And we're literally just going to put some of that on the butt of a beauty blender, a moist beauty blender. I'm sorry, a damp beauty blender for those who are triggered by that word. I know a couple. I don't even need that much. I'm only, <laughs> don't have my face. All right. And I just kind of work that in to where I need it to be I kind of don't go right under my eye because I know I'm going to cover that get my dark spots in my chin mm. mm hmm y'all see first of all the shade match second of all the glisten the glow the miraculous shine if you're trying to figure out what that sound is in the background it is my daughter playing in a bag full of beads it is keeping her occupied so we're just going to deal with the sound okay y'all like for me to get content out would be impossible trying to work around my babies because they are literally attached to my hip as soon as I get home from work so I kind of just have to work with them like right here so I hope the sound doesn't bother you guys I hope you guys understand I'm trying to get some content out to you guys and I don't want you to be all like what is going on she got too much going on in the background like why is she doing like why is all that happening like I can't even focus on what she's saying I don't want none of that okay don't want none of that understand or don't okay I'm trying trying go in with my contour so this is my Fenty contour stick in the shade espresso I go above my cheekbone We'll do right there, right in there. I do my cupid bow. I don't do my jaw lines. Don't really need to. Okay. Then we are going to go in with my concealer. I'm going to go in with that e.l.f. shade once again. It's the shade Tan Walnut. Mind you, this is also too light, but it does something, right? I only go right there, right here. And I'm going to cover my lid. Okay. Put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And there. There. That's what my concealer and my contour looks like in 2021. All right. So we are going to start by blending out my contour. I go upwards from the cheekbone. And then I work on blending. I go backwards from the hairline. Please excuse my stocking cap. And then I work on blending. And then I squeeze my beauty blender and get up in there. Okay. Now I'm going to blend out my concealer. So, like that. 
I take the sideways. Then I just go in with the beauty blender and I blend everything together. I kind of use the butt which has my foundation and the contour shade on it. So it'll kind of like blend better. Today we're using my Laura Mercier in the shade Translucent. And I literally do not bake. I just kind of set it. I look ashy and white, but it'll it'll work. I promise. I promise. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to this 2018 side, and I'm going in with my CoverGirl Mineral Powder. This is in the shade 400 Tan, and I kind of just take this and I use it to remove the Sacha powder because I noticed the Sacha powder was a little like yellow orangey, so I wanted to kind of counteract it without removing the actual like lightness so i would go in with this all over my face and at the same time remove the excess powder so that was my trick back then to get rid of the uh, orangey look <laughs> and i still use this powder today to set the rest of my face but i kind of just take the tiniest bit and go over my whole face with this same powder. I really do like this um, mineral powder. It's really good. Cover girl. All right, the next step would be setting spray. I go in with setting spray at this moment to kind of get rid of any ashy powder look I would get. Um, for the 2018 side, we're just gonna use Cover Girl. This is a good setting spray. This isn't exactly what I used back then, but it's very similar. And I didn't use that much. I don't even think I used that much, but I really, I don't know why I was so chinchy with the spray, but that's what I would do with that side. All right, now for this side, I like a mist better than a spray because it doesn't leave droplets. So we are going in with my Morphe. I still love this. This is the Jeffree Star Morphe um, setting spray in the strawberry scent. I just like the scent, okay? Mm. and we lather that puppy on okay then I like to go in with my beauty blender and kind of blend everything out one more time and pat that setting spray in so that everything is nice smooth and like skin like butter baby all right, so I do want to do some contour on this side of my face. So what I used to use back then was my Pro Artistry. This I got from Five Below. And I must admit, I really liked it. Like, I... Look, 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 look what it looked like. This was the very first thing I bought for contour and blush. And I still use these blush colors because these colors are really cute. One is like orangey. The other one's like a strawberry color. Like, they're really cute. But what I used to do was I used to go in with my brush and I would hit this brown and I went right in my cheekbone like so just to give myself a little contour because I've always been a believer in putting the shades back into your face so that's how I used to contour then I would take a smaller brush We'll use this one and I would do my nose. Okay, so that's how I used the contour back then. Not bad, like it definitely gave me the shadow back into my face. And the shade is actually really pigmented, like it's not bad. All right, then we are gonna might as well go ahead and hit it with a little bit of blush. I'm going to use like this strawberry color here. I'm going to use that. All right. So that gave me some color back. Not bad. Not bad. Then we're going to just hit it with a little bit of highlight. 
um, Wet n Wild highlight. I'm actually using this for both sides of my face. So that'll show you that there was some things back then that I liked. <laughs> and that was basically the face. I did not go back in with more setting powder. This was it. This is, this is how my face looked. We are now going to do this side of the finishing touches. So I already contoured with my Fenty Contour Stick. I like to go over with this as kind of like a bronzer. So this is my Contour Effects. I don't think they really sell this anymore. I bought this off of eBay and y'all can tell like I love this thing. Like I really do like it. So I'm just going to go in with a bit of it and kind of warm up my cheeks and the perimeter of my forehead like so. Don't really need much on my nose because I did contour already. We are going to do a blush. I'm actually going to use that blush for the other side. I like the way it's looking. Okay. I do still use this thing. So don't think I'm just doing it because I brought it out. I really do still use this. But now I take it up a little bit more. It's not exactly on my cheek. It's kind of like above the contour line. So... Right? And I do my nose. Now. <laughs> so, that's how I blush now compared to before. And we are going to do that same highlighter. Like I told you, I still really like this Wet n Wild highlighter. And I'm just gonna... Highlight. And I do my nose. Boom. Then I do hit with a little bit more setting spray. Hold on. This is still. And I hit with a little bit more setting spray. All right. So this is the difference in my face. 2018. 2021, 2018, 2021. All right, so that's just the face in itself. I feel like there's a major difference. The sculpting has changed. The glisten is definitely more prominent on my 2020. I have like more of a skin-like feel on this side compared to this side. And the shade is just off. Just a little, a little off. <laughs> now it is time for the one thing I know I have gotten better and improved in. And that is for the eye looks. All right. So for the 2018 side, as you notice, I didn't prime. I didn't prep. I didn't conceal. I didn't do none to this eyelid. And that is because I didn't do nothing to those eyelids back then. All right. The very first palette I ever bought myself was this muff, must have palette. This is by Beauty Glaze. Um... I use this for everything, y'all. This wasn't the very first palette I ever bought. Um, so that, whew, that's what we're going to use today. All right. So let's just hop into it because it's not, it's not going to do too much. We're not going to do too much because I didn't do too much back then. So I'm first going to hop in with a brown. So we're going to use this brown over here. And I'm just going to kind of give an outer corner moment. Blending wasn't really a big issue back then. I just thought I was something if I used at least three shades. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. Then we are going to do. Let's. Um, hmm. Let's do this blue. We'll do a blue moment. Okay. Oops. 
Look, I'm blending at the moment because I just can't even fathom this not being blended together. So I'm sorry. I apologize. That's probably, I hope that's what I did back then. I can't even remember. All right, so now we have the brown, we have the blue. Now we're going to go in with this blue shimmer because I had to have shimmer to feel like I was doing something. And we're literally just going to put this in the inner corner. No cut crease needed. And paint that puppy on. Now, because this palette is a really good palette, it doesn't look that bad, right? And because I picked dark shades doesn't look that bad I have definitely had worse eye looks back in 2018 but I it's hard to revert backwards you know what I mean like all right so for the eye look for 2021 we are going in with boots of course Juvia's place and this is the Walla palette the first one and we are going to do like browns and blues and a shimmer we'll do the same thing three shades but let me show you how I could tweak it nowadays right so first and foremost, we are going to go in with this brown and we're going to give an actual angle. And we're gonna bring it in right along the cut crease. And we're going to take it and fluff it out. Sorry. What does that mean? All right, so now I'm going into Love. It is like this turquoise color, and I'm using the same brush, and I'm literally just going to kind of put it in this inner corner area. Please ignore all the rustling going on. These kids just will not let me live. They won't. And I'm patting it heavy into the crease and fluffing it out. Oh, this turquoise is so pretty. And I'm kind of slowly blending it in to the brown. I'm sorry, the brown is called Sis. <laughs> Sis. And I'm just fluffing it out, fluffing it out, fluffing it out. And now I'm going back and forth into Sis and Love, kind of blending those together. All right, now we're gonna cut our crease. The concealer that we used earlier. Um, and I'm gonna cut my crease. Now, I know where I want my crease to be cut. If you do not, the trick is to kind of touch your lid, look up, and it should give you a dot where you want your crease to be, okay? All right, cut crease. Now I can go in with some glitter. I'm gonna go in with that same brush because now it's a little tacky from the concealer. And I'm going to take Yanga, which is this like gorgeous turquoise glitter right here. And I'm going to apply that to where I cut my crease. This color is so gorgeous. <laughs> All right. And I'm just going to go in and close that up with the brown because I feel like it would look better if it stops right there. I'm gonna do a liner 
All right, so for a liner, if you cannot tell, I do them two completely different ways nowadays. Before, I used to just line the eye and create like an upwards wing. Now, I kind of doing like this cat fox eye thing going on. So it's kind of like straight, more like horizontal. And the wing is there and I come into the inner corner a little bit more. So that's how my liner is different between 2018, 2021. I'm gonna pop a lash on and mascara for this eye. But for this eye, I didn't do lashes, so it's just gonna be mascara. I'll be right back. All right, now, if that is not a drastic difference, I have no idea what could possibly be a drastic difference. Like, whoo, honey. All right, so now the last thing we have is a lip. And back then, so back then, all I used to use was those extremely super, super dry liquid lips from the hair store. So we have this one left. And I definitely am going to throw it away after this. Um, this is Plummy Mood. Like, this is literally forever matte. And I got this from the hair store. Mm. And I would let it dry, and then I would do another layer. So we're going to do that. But for this side, let me show you my new favorite technique. All right. So my new favorite lip look right now is Tarte. It's called Colada. And this is from the Rainforest of the Sea line. And I literally just take this, and I put this in the middle of my lip. Like that. Right? Then I go in with my Wet n Wild. These are, oh, I'm sorry, this is Black Radiance. These are some of my favorite lipsticks. And this is in the shade Poidsnet 5073. Shade 5073. It's like this super, super dark plum color, though, right? And I take this and I put it on the outer corner of my lip. I'm sorry, not right there. Okay, don't do that. And down. And I just take the time to kind of blend those together. It's hard to do one side. <laughs> so let me go ahead and put another layer on this super dry side. That is sadly all that we are going to do for this look. So give me a second. I'll be right back so we can see the close-ups of 2018 versus 2021. Honey, so one thing that don't go out of style is a bob. Ew, she cute. All right, let's do this. 2018, up close and personal. So that is the end of this video. Please let me know what you guys think about my then and now, my 2018 versus 2021. If you guys have any trips and tips, tricks and tips, tricks and tips, please let me know down in the comments below because I'm always up to learning new things about makeup. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put a ribbon on this video and I will see you all in the next